Good morning, friends. Hey, it's Thursday. Yeah, I hope everyone had a wonderful Earth Day yesterday. And I thought today is all about reducing, and that's a tricky one, but I thought we would have fun singing this song. It's another one by Tom Chapin. It's called Good Garbage. Let's try this one. I had a turkey dinner through the bones away. They hauled it to the county dump without delay. By the following Thanksgiving, they had a turn to play. Their bio de bio de bio degradable garbage. <laughs> Good garbage breaks down as it goes. That's why it smells bad to your nose. Bad garbage grows and grows and grows. Garbage is supposed to decompose. Now styrofoam is bad, lasts a thousand years. A pack of peanuts born and never disappears. So crumple up your comics when you shift your chandeliers. Cause comics are bio de bio degradable garbage. things like plastic, cans, um, different um, containers, those take thousands, they don't even know how many thousands of years to break down and become part of the earth again. So it's really better to buy things that don't have a lot of plastics and cans and those kind of things. Things that you can either recycle or that are going to turn back into the earth or decompose. That's what today is all about. It's all about reducing. And sometimes you have to put on your thinking cap when you think about reducing what you use at your house every day. And Mrs. Boyd had to do the same thing. I had to think, am I making a good choice? Am I reducing the amount of plastics that I put out into the world? And so I had to think, I had to go through my rooms and think about well, what am I using in here that I can make a change and not use as much, okay? So that's what reducing means, not using as much. So um, when I went into the bathroom and I thought, well, what in the bathroom do I buy that I buy every, all a few times, maybe a, a few times every month or once a week that I need to not use as much. And one of the things that I found was um, I used to buy these, they're wipes for your face, to clean your face. And I thought, well, why am I buying? It's a plastic package 
and there's paper in there. That's what I wipe my face with. And then what do I do with that? I throw it away and I throw away the plastic packaging because this is a plastic that can't be recycled. So how could I make a change? So I found, I found these. These are just like they're little spongy puffs and they're soft and I wet them and I wash my face. It's kind of like a washcloth. You can use a washcloth instead of something to, uh, that's made of plastic and paper. And then I thought, well, um, I'm buying a plastic bottle with soap in it every few weeks. And one of the soaps that I use was for my hair. Plastic bottles have shampoo in them, right? And so I then I found a company that um, makes shampoo. This is my shampoo. Isn't that cool? It's a little bar of soap. And I just scrub it on my head and it makes bubbles just like the shampoo. But it comes in a paper container and it does not come in plastic. So this is one way, uh, another way that I use to reduce. Then I went into the laundry room. And our laundry room, what do we buy for the laundry room? We buy more soap. So a lot of soap comes in plastic containers. I'm like, well, how could I not buy a plastic container that has soap in it? So I had to do some research because a lot of these things are in the grocery stores. And one of the things I found was, this is a plastic, or it's a paper box, not in plastic. This, look at that thin little piece. It's not paper. This is actually a piece of soap. Isn't that cool? And I just toss it in there when I do my laundry and it's just like soap and it smells good too. And this comes in a paper box. So no plastic to throw away. I recycle the box when I'm done. Easy queasy, right? Um, let's see. And then I went into the kitchen and the kitchen I was like, well, I'm putting plastic over my cans when I'm done with them, or I'm, I have a bowl of something and I want to save it because we didn't eat all of it. So what do I put over the top? Plastic. So instead of plastic, I found these little wonderful things. They come off, see that? And then it just goes right back on the can. If you're not quite done with the can, works great. Just pop it over the top and nothing spills out. And they have different sizes, so in case I have a big bowl, I could put that one over the top of a big bowl. There's other things you can use too. This is like um, plastic, but it's not plastic. It's a piece of cloth that someone put this wonderful sticky um, wax on, and I put that over a bowl, and that helps keep it fresh. And or when we have leftovers, I put that over the bowl instead of plastic, so I don't have to buy plastic. Um, another thing that we have in the kitchen, we have a lot of cleaners in the kitchen. And again, you remember my soap that I use um, for my hands, the same company has um, cleaners. So this is my bottle. They sent me the bottle and I put one of those little uh, fizzy tabs in there and then I can reuse this bottle every time. I don't have to go buy a cleaner bottle to use uh, and throw in the recycling. So I'm reducing the amount of plastic that I use by buying just one bottle and then I put more soap in it when I need it. So that's my, that's my glass cleaner, but they have glass cleaner and countertop cleaner and sink cleaner and bathroom cleaner. There's lots of different things. Um, another place you can reduce is when you go to the grocery store. And when you go to the grocery store, you buy things that come in a container, just like our song says. When you go to the grocery store, you, you're buying the container too, just as much as you're buying the food. So instead of buying something that is in a plastic container, I try to look for things that come in. This is a paper container and it looks like it's been recycled once already, but I can put this in the recycling again and I don't have to use more plastic. I'm not or put those plastic bags out there in the world. Speaking of plastic bags, I take these to the grocery store and I put my vegetables in them. Usually when you go get vegetables, they're either already in plastic or you have to pull down a plastic bag and then put the, put the vegetables or fruit in a plastic bag. And this is a mesh bag that's made out of cloth and it has a drawstring, and it'll just be like that. And then 
I don't have to get one of those plastic bags and throw it away or throw it in the recycling. So I can take this instead. Um, again, plastic bags is what they usually have at the grocery store, right? And sometimes I get some of these. It's just you forget your bags or something, and you have to have a plastic bag. But these can also be recycled. You don't have to put them in the garbage. When I go to the grocery store, I take some sort of plastic or not plastic, a uh, cloth bag, so I can put my gar my groceries in a cloth bag or um, a reusable bag, so I can re reuse this, and then I reduce my amount of plastic bags that I'm using. Reducing and reusing kind of go hand in hand. If I reuse it, then I'm reducing the amount that I have to um, take away from the grocery store. But look around your house and see if there's ways um, that you can maybe make a change, okay? That's kind of fun. Um, it's kind of a challenge though, too. So try that. I'm always finding new ways. You don't have to do exactly the same thing as I do, um, but I'm giving you an idea. Uh, something else that you can do um, to reduce is food. You don't have to buy so much, and then what happens is I buy so much, and then what do I have to do with it? Oh, it went bad. I have to throw it away. So not buying as much. And something Mrs. Boyd also does that you don't have to do, but it's something that I made a change to do, and I just I made a change that I wanted to do for the environment was that I don't eat meat anymore. Um, meat, all the all the animals that uh, we get our meat from, um, pigs and cows and chickens and turkeys. All of that meat needs to eat. While it's alive, it needs to eat. And then, so the farmer has to use land to grow the food to be able to feed that animal. That animal also creates a lot of waste. And then where does that waste go? It goes out into the land and, and it hurts the land. So one of the things that I did was make a change to not eat meat anymore. You don't have to do that. Maybe you could say instead of not becoming an, an entire vegetarian, maybe you could say, well, I'm going to reduce the amount of meat that I eat on a weekly basis. Maybe I could eat, instead of eating seven days that I eat meat, maybe I could take it down to six or maybe even five. Maybe on the weekends you eat not meat. Maybe that's a change that your family can make. I don't know, you have to talk about it with your family. You don't have to do what I do, but that's just one of the things that I'm putting out there as an idea how to reduce, okay? Um, let's do our song, are you ready? Here we go. Hello and how are you? Hello and how are you? Hello and how are you? How are you today? I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine today. Smile at me and wave hello. Smile at me and wave hello. Smile at me and wave hello. Wave hello today. Hola y como estas? Hola y como estas? Hola y como estas? Como estas hoy día? Yo estoy bien y como estas tú? Yo estoy bien y como estas tú? Yo estoy bien y como estas tú? Como estas hoy día? Thank you. That was awesome. All right, let's get our flag out. You ready? Can you stand up with me? And put your right hand over your heart. Put your right hand and put it over your heart. Say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And let's get our earth flag. Take that right hand, put it back over your heart. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the earth and all the life that it supports. One planet in our care, irreplaceable with sustenance and respect for all. All right, there we go. And let's see what the weather's doing today. Yesterday's turned out to be really nice. It was a little cloudy, but it 
was a beautiful day to get outside. I hope everybody got to go outside and enjoy the Earth Day yesterday. All right, this today, it looks like Weather Bear says it, we might have some sprinkles, but 75 for the high, 60 for the low. That sounds nice. Maybe watch out for some sprinkles. Might be a little windy, but we'll take it. I like this beautiful sunny day and nice warm weather. So a little partly cloudy maybe, and maybe a few sprinkles early or late. We'll see what happens. All right, let's get to our calendar. Are you ready? Can we do the signs? Are you ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Yesterday was Wednesday. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Hoy es jueves. Hoy es jueves. Today is Thursday. Jueves. And let's count up the calendar and see what number we land on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? Let's start another ten bar. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Two ten bars. 21, 22, 20. Three, 20. Three. We need to put up our 23. Get rid of all this sticky stuff here. 23. All right. 23. Is it an odd number or is it an even number? Let's see. We look at the units. Three units. Can we count by twos and land on a three? I don't think so. We have to skip right over one and go to two. We skip right over a three and go to four. Did we land on that three? Nope. So 23 is an odd number, not an even number. Nice job, friends. Let's see. 22 was yesterday, and then we added something, and then it equaled 23. How many did we add? Let's start on 22. And then to figure out how many we added, we have to jump to 23. Ready? How many times do we jump? One. Just one time. So 22 plus one more makes 23. And how do we make that 23? It tells us how many units we have and it tells us how many 10 bars. This is telling us we need two 10 bars. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One 10 bar. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two ten bars. And then how many units does it tell us we need? It tells us we need three units. One, two, three. Two ten bars and three units makes twenty-three. Today is Thursday. go. All right. Let's do our poems. You ready? Let's do our spring poem. I love all the seasons, but springtime is the best. Let's put on our raincoats. Now we are all dressed. In the rain we love to play. And this is what we hear. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter, that's the season's cheer. And in April. In April I will go away to far out Spain or old Bombay and dream about hot soup all day. Oh my, oh once, oh my, oh twice, oh my, oh chicken soup with 
rest. All right, and then our beautiful earth poem, you ready? Our earth is ours to enjoy for every little girl and boy. But we must always be aware that it all its beauty is ours to share with all the children yet to come who want to laugh and play and run around the trees and in the fields. So we must keep our planet free from messy trash and debris with air that's clean and fresh and clear for all to breathe from year to year. We must never ever abuse our sweet earth that's ours to use. Isn't that a good, good poem to remember, isn't it? All right, remember we have some quick and easy words in here. Um, I wanna find the word hum. That's a tricky word because I hear k -k -k, but then I hear um, and I, when I hear uh, I think you, but it's not, it's an O. Oh. So we have to find the C O come. We need an M. Mm. Let's see. Our beauty we must share with all the children. There's a C, but that's children. Yep, two. Oh, I found it. C O M E come. C O M E come. All right, and then we want to find one more. Let's find. How about four? Hmm, four. The earth is ours to enjoy for every little girl and boy. F-O-R, for. And then I think there's one more down here. Fresh and clear for all the to breathe from year to year. F-O-R, for. So here's four and there's a four up at the top. Now let's try to find from. That's another tricky one because when I hear from, I hear f, er, and then I hear that um again. Uh is not an uh in from. Isn't that weird? It's another O. Oh. So we need to look for F R O M, from. Let's see, around the trees and in the fields. So we must keep our planet free from messy trash and debris. For, um, from, F-R-O-M, from. So two tricky, tricky words today. C-O-M-E, come, and from. Hey, those kind of rhyme, don't they? Come and from, but they're not spelled the same. And they don't have the uh. They both don't have the uh. They have O-M from and come. Hmm. Pretty tricky English language. <sighs> All right. Today we are going to be listening and watching a read aloud that is on, I think, I think Mrs. Berry's reading this one. It's called, Why Should We Save Water? So reducing the amount of water that we use. Um, and that's an easy thing to do. You don't have to take as long of a shower. Yeah, you could set a timer for your shower. Or did you know taking a bath uses less water than showering? It's true, taking a bath. So think about how you can use less water when you're done listening to that story. It's by Jean Green. Or no, not Jean Green. Jen Green, sorry, Jen Green. Um, we are, you have a field trip today. Um, SciShow Kids is going on, um, going to tell us a little bit more about endangered animals. We share this earth with lots of animals and sometimes we have to help protect those animals too. They're in danger be of becoming extinct, just like the dinosaurs, right? We don't want all of our animals to become extinct like the dinosaurs, do we? No. Um, you might go on a trash collection walk today and trash and recycling walk. Um, you might also try, I made one myself for after I'm done here, a snack. Um, make some earth art snack. This one I made and it, one of the things that you could do is make a tree out of pretzels and grapes. I didn't have any green grapes, I had red grapes, but I think the tree looks pretty. It looks like a fall tree 
or I have something, a tree right in my yard called a red Japanese um, maple tree, and it has red leaves. So you might try an earth snack today. Look at my tree. Can't wait to eat that. Yum. Mmm. And let's see what else are we going to do today. Um, Mrs. Cook had an idea that maybe you might want to go out into your um, driveway with your sidewalk chalk and make some uh, uh, like a poster or a world um, on your side on your driveway and then take a picture of it and she'll put it on the Montclair Facebook page for Earth Week. Isn't that fun? You could also make a poster um, out of paper but it would be fun to go outside and enjoy the earth enjoy the weather and make a sidewalk earth. That would be fun. So that is something you can do too that's not on our lesson plan so if you want to try that. Um, also I think there's another group a Facebook group doing a win window animal show so like you put you draw pictures of some animals and you put them up in your window and then you put your address down and she'll put it on the map and then um, May 8th um, people can drive around and find all the addresses on the map that have different animals in their windows they're calling it um, uh, what are they calling it the Carnival of the Animals. That's what they're calling it. Um, so that would be fun too. You could do so, another Earth po um, poster for that as well. You could do the Earth and all the different animals on the Earth that we want to help protect. So that might be fun too. So keep sending in your beautiful Earth art and your beautiful Earth works. I'm really enjoying watching all of your um, Earth uh, projects. So keep me Keep me in tune. I want to see what's going on, okay? I want to see what you're working on. Uh, our show and shows today are Sammy and Brooke, and tomorrow we'll have Caroline and Cade. Cade and Caroline, you're up next. So we want to be excited to hear from Sammy and Brooke today. Um, have a wonderful day, my friends, and I will see you tomorrow on Friday. Have a great, great day. Hopefully get outside, okay? See you tomorrow. Bye.